DJ Pro for the Android is filled with amazing features and integrations, and one of them is the integration of streaming services so we can mix millions of songs instantly with a pro subscription to one of these streaming services. So in this short video, I'm gonna show you how streaming in DJ Pro for the Android works and how to get the most of it, out of it. So to get to your music sources, you're gonna press the music selector buttons at the top left or top right. Once you press that, you'll get a full screen view with a bunch of things you could control. So if we press this drop down menu here, we get to our music sources. So our music sources are DJ music. So they give you a lot of songs that you could DJ with right away if you don't have a subscription to streaming and you want to start DJing as soon as you download the app. You have local music, music on your device. You have your files, but the streaming services that are integrated with this software are Apple Music, which is the most recent. A lot of people are asking about that and we're really happy that it was integrated. Next is gonna be Tidal. That's the one that I use. That's what I'm gonna show you with the examples. I think it's by far the best DJ so the best DJ streaming service. And you could use DJ Pro's amazing Neuromix with it if you pay for the DJ extension. And then you got SoundCloud, Beatport, and BeatSource. All of these streaming services are going to have millions and millions of songs you could start DJing with right away. And they're all going to act pretty much the same way. So I'm going to show you in title. So I'm going to select title. So now we have a search bar up here at the top right. And then we have some pre-made genres and playlists we could choose from. Down here we have playlists. We, down here we have playlist. If you already had title and you made playlist like you were in DJing, you could see it there. These are gonna be our genres. The next one is match, which is really cool. So if you choose a song, you could press match to get other songs. I'll show you how that works. So how would we find a song? You could go through the genres or the pre-made playlist, or you could go up here to the search bar and search. When you search it with this search bar, when you're in title, it's gonna search every song that's on title, which is pretty much any song, any decently popular song that's on the internet. So we find the song that we want. So in the club by 50 cents, it gives us our BPM and the length of the song. If we press the three dots to the right, we could add the song to a playlist, analyze it, or choose a deck, or we could just press the track. So if you press the left side and then you press the track, it'll load up on the left or load up on the right. So now the track is you saw how fast that loaded and we have all the information, the color coded waveforms, everything in the song. And then if you set, if you set cue points in the song, even if it's a song from streaming, it is going to it is going to save it. So every time I load up the song, even if I exit out the app, put a different song on, uh, my cue points are gonna be saved. So you only have to set your cue points once. Same thing if you add it to the playlist, it's gonna be there in your playlist. And you could have songs and playlists from your device, from streaming service, from different streaming services. N next thing that's really cool is this is a song from Tidal that, that we are streaming and we can instantly get rid of the acapellas, instantly get rid of the instrumentals. Nero Mix works perfectly. So now that there's a song loaded up, if I press the match feature, it's gonna give me suggestions of songs based on the genre, based on the artist, uh, like the same vibe. So if people were liking In the Club by 50 Cent, they'd probably like Drop It Like It's Hot, hot by Snoop or How We Do or some Nelly. Um, songs from the same era, the same type of vibe. Really cool feature and it helps when you're making your playlist, helps if you don't know what song to play next. So really simple, really easy to use Nero Mix. Another thing that I don't think a lot of people think about is you don't have to just search songs. You could do uh, like sound effects and samples and stuff like that and scratch. So I searched surprise sound effects. So there's all these sound effects that you could load up into your playlist. So you could do like a round of applause if someone's opening gifts at a party or something. So don't think you're stuck with just music and songs and tracks. Get creative with what you search for in title. And if you wanna see my full tutorial on DJ Pro for the Android, check out this video over here. Thank you.